number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the American mythology has been castrated by a bandsaw in some lonely apartment of a non-binary guy who just figured out what a bandsaw was by watching a YouTube video. Don't know what I'm talking about? Look at what has happened to the American mythology, the thing that we like to call pop culture in this country, over the last about, oh, 10 years. A lot of people say that there was a very big turning point in Star Wars when all of a sudden they just abandoned what Star Wars was. You know, Superman is no longer about truth, justice in the American way, and many, 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 many characters have been turned gay. But there is one thing that a ragtag bunch of people out on YouTube have been calling for for the last little bit now. Guys like Razor Fist, people who work with nerdrotic geeks and gamers, and so on and so forth. Even guys like Eric July. They have all been calling for others out there to do something. Don't ask to be a part of the culture, become the culture. Now, this is definitely a call that I heard last year when I started working on this YouTube channel and slowly but surely building it to the small size but much larger size than it is now. That's just what you tell your wife. No, baby, it was smaller back in the day. It's fine. But metaphors aside, ladies and gentlemen, going out and creating is something that absolutely needs to happen. But there's one thing that I'm not quite hearing yet and that is a call to the fans out there you see there are plenty of fans out there that i know of that may not be interested in necessarily creating something because well they're not the creative type you know some people are meant to sit there and put fantastical pieces of art on a piece of paper other people are meant to go drink a 30 pack and then wake up the next day in 100 degree weather and then go build the american infrastructure any, 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 anybody else? Anybody? Where's my blue collar guys at? But if you understand what I'm saying, there are so many people out there that have so many different talents in life and all of the people out there who heard the call to go create are creating, but I do not want to miss the most pivotal part of this whole thing. The fans out there who are looking for something, who are willing to take a leap of faith on something new. This is my call to action for those fans out there. Are you still buying DC and Marvel? Are you still going and watching their movies? Are you still hoping to hope that maybe one day with just the tiniest bit of a prayer and, you know, a lot of liberty being injected back into this country to kick back the Corpo Kami message, that you might just maybe see that cartoon that you saw when you were a kid, which is still there, by the way, be recreated on screen in the way that it was when you were a kid. If you're still hoping for that, I humbly ask you, walk away. Those stories are there and will always be there for you. However, if you're like me and you have children of your own, children who are looking to have stories of their own, stories that they can connect with, and honestly looking to build the future of the culture, if you're not a creative, that's fine. Are you a fan? Have you been a fan of this stuff since you were a kid? Were you still collecting things even well on into your teenage years until you got made fun of just a little too much? I did. So yeah, that was me. Or are you the type of person that it doesn't matter? No matter what, you've just walked away completely. Ladies and gentlemen, the American mythos is in schism right now. The old gods, as I said earlier, they've been castrated by the non-binary guy in his lonely apartment because you know he just watched a youtube video and they successfully found out how to castrate the american mythology i mean look what they've done to disney for christ's sakes the guy the most american guy to have americaned in the last probably since the founding fathers and look what they've done to his creations and eviscerated the americana that he put in well, I go on all of these analogies and all of these metaphors to make one point. There are creators out there who are building fantastic creations. And honestly, guys that are so talented that I personally believe had Marvel and DC and the other comic companies out there not screwed the pooch, these guys would be working for them now. But instead, seeing what they've done, these guys have all struck out on their own. They're building their own creations. They're making fantastic stories. And yet... The fan base still seems to be sending money towards things like Blue Beetle and, you know, the Barbie movie and things like that. Has me a little miffed. So for those people out there who are saying, we need something new. We need to see something new. 
The new is there. Are you a fan? Will you be an early adopter? The normies, nah, they're 10, 15 years away. I'm not talking to those guys. I'm talking to the guys like me. You miss reading good stories. And you know what? I had my good Superman stories when I was a kid. I was an animation guy. I watched the animated stuff. I didn't read the comic books and never claimed to. But I know where those stories came from. Are you interested in finding something new? Because guess what? In order to become the culture, in order to become the pop culture in this country, the creators out there that I'm talking to cannot do it without the fans. So this is my call to action. Take some of those pocket dollars that you have, if you have some, and I know times are tough for a lot of people. But find something new. And if you say, I don't know where to go to find something new, tune into this channel. I cover a lot of it. Maybe you'll find something new here. But if we really want to build the next American pop culture, we've got to put our money, we've got to put the money where our mouths are. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you to all the artists and creators and everybody who are here watching this channel. I appreciate all of you. But this one, this is a call to action for the other half of the coin, for the people who are going to support the next American culture moving forward. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.